Magandang araw sa ating lahat at muli ay welcome po sa ating pag-aaral ngayon. Pero bago po tayo mag-aaral, please support to my channel, Mark My Sam Channel. Paki-like, paki-share, and paki-subscribe. Ngayon, proceed na po tayo sa ating pag-aaral. Ang ating pong pag-aaralan ngayon ay ang How to Compute Surface Area of a solid figure. But before we compute, let us first have a short review about area. So area, area of a polygon refers to the region inside the figure. So yung pong area inside the polygon or the shape, yun po yung ating kukuna ng area. Then surface area the sum of the areas of the base or the bases and the lateral faces of the solid figure. So, yung surface area, katulad po ng area, ngunit yung surface area ay yung lahat ng side of the solid figure. Example, yung area at saka yung surface area. Sa area, we have plane figure na square at sa surface area we have solid figure na cube. Example po, yan. Sa area, yung plane figure na square yun po yung ating kuna ng area. Ngunit sa solid figure na cube ay binubuo po ng anim na square. So, yung anim na square yun po yung ating kuna ng area. At pag natuta lahat ng area sa anim na square, yun na po yung tinatawag na surface area. So, yun po ang pagkakaiba ng area at surface area. So, let us proceed in how to find surface area of a solid figure. So, number one, surface area of a cube. So, how to find the surface area of a cube. So, example, natin cube, we have 4 cm. Dahil po ito ay cube, meaning lahat ng face are the same. So, lahat ng side na yan ay 4 cm. So, the formula in finding the surface area of the cube, we have SA equals 6 a squared. So, 6 is the constant or the 6 sides or the 6 six face of the cube. Then, A is the measure of its face. Then, squared. So, given we have A is for CM surface area equals question mark. Then solution, we'll copy first the formula is A equals 6 A squared. Then equals, we'll copy 6 times, copy the value of A which is 4 cm, then times 4 because of the squared, meaning mayroong dalawang 4. So, 6 times 4 times 4. Then equals, copy 6 times 4 times 4 equals 16. Then equals 6 times 16 is 96. Then copy the unit centimeter. Then put a squared because it is still a area. So the cube whose side is 4 cm, the surface area is 96 centimeter squared. So, ganyan po ang pagkuha ng surface area of a cube. So, proceed tayo sa number 2, surface area of a rectangular prism. So, how to find the surface area of a rectangular prism? So, example, we have the length is 9 cm, 
the width is 3 cm and the height is 5 cm. Formula, we have surface area equals 2 times length times width plus length times height plus width times height. The 2 is constant. So, the sum of length times width, length times height, and width times height times 2. So, given length is 9 cm, width is 3 cm, height is 5 cm. SA is question mark. Then, solution, copy the formula equals copy 2, then open parenthesis, L is 9 times 3 na width then plus the length na 9 then times 5 na height then plus 3 na width then times 5 na height then close parenthesis equals copy to open parenthesis 9 times 3 equals 27 plus 9 times 5, 45 plus 3 times 15 equals 15, then close parenthesis. Equals copy 2, then open parenthesis, 27 plus 45 plus 15 equals 87, then close parenthesis. Then equals 2 times 87 equals 174. Then copy the unit na cm, then put a squared. So the surface area of the rectangular prism is 174 centimeter squared. So anyan po ang pagkuha ng surface area of a rectangular prism. So, number 3, surface area of a cylinder. So, example, the height of the cylinder is 9 cm and the radius of the cylinder is 3 cm. Formula, we have SA equals 2 pi r height plus 2 pi r squared. So, the 2 is constant or given. The value of pi is 3.14. So, given the height is 9 cm, the radius is 3 cm, surface area is question mark. Then, solution, copy the formula, is A equals 2 times pi times radius times height plus 2 times pi times radius squared. Equals copy 2 then times the value of pi 3.14 times radius na 3 times the height na 9. Then plus times 2 times the value of pi 3.14, then times the radius na 3, then times 3, dahil po yan ay squared. Then equals, copy 2, 3.14 times 3 times 9, equals 84.78. Then plus, copy 2, 3.14, times 3 times 3 equals 28.26 then equals 2 times 84.78 equals 169.56 then plus 2 times 28.26 is 56.52 then equals 169.56 
plus 56.52 equals 226.08. Then copy the unit cm and write the squared. So the surface area of a cylinder is 226.08 centimeter squared. The next surface area of a sphere. So example, the diameter of a sphere is 20 cm. The formula is surface area equals 4 times pi times r squared. Then given the radius is 10 cm because 20 ang diameter, so divided by 2, so we have 10 cm ang radius. Then, surface area is question mark. Solution, we'll copy first the formula. Is A equals 4 times pi times R squared. Then equals, copy 4 then times the value of pi na 3.14, then times the radius na 10, then times another 10 because of the squared. Then equals, copy 4, copy 3.14, then 10 times 10 is 100. Then equals, copy 4, 3.410 times 100 is 314. Then equals 4 times 314 is 1256. Then copy the unit na cm, then write the squared. So the surface area of a sphere is 1256 centimeter squared. So, ganyan po ang pagkuha ng surface area of a sphere. Sana ay inyong naintindihan. Next, surface area of a square pyramid. So, example, the side of the square base is 5 cm and the height is 8 cm. Then, formula, we have SA equals S squared plus 4 times one half of base times height. Then given, we have side 5 cm and base is 5 cm and the height is 8 cm. Side na 5 and the base na 5 is the same. Then, is a is question mark. Solution, we'll copy the formula is A equals A squared plus 4 base times height divide 2 equals the side is 5 times 5 because squared then plus 4 base times height divide 2. The base is 5 times 8 na height then divide 2. Then equals 5 times 5 25, then plus 4, 5 times 8, divide 2, is 20. Then equals, copy 25, plus 4 times 20 is 80. Then equals, 25 plus 80 equals 105. Then copy, centimeter, then put squared. So the surface area of the square pyramid whose base is 5 and the height is 8 is 105 centimeter squared. The next area of rectangular pyramid. The example, so the length of the base is 12 cm the width is 6 cm and the height is 10 cm. So formula, we have SA equals length times width plus 2 times 1 half of length times height plus 2 times 1 half of 
width times height. Given length is 12 cm, width is 6 cm, and the height is 10 cm, and the surface area is question mark. Solution, we'll copy the formula, length times width plus 2 times 1 half of length times height plus 2 times 1 half of width times height. Then equals length is 12 cm times width na 6. Then plus 2 1 half of 12 times 10. Then plus 2 1 half of 6 times 10. Width is 6 and the height is 10. Then equals 12 times 6 is 72. Then plus 2. Then 1 half of 12 times 10 is 60. Plus 2. 1 half of 6 times 10 is 30. Then equals copy 72 plus 2 times 60 is 120 plus 2 times 30 is 60. Then equals 72 plus 120 plus 60 is 252. Then Copy the unit centimeter, then put a squared. So the surface area is 252 centimeter squared. Next, surface area of a cone. So example, the diameter of the base is 6 cm and the height is 9 cm. Formula, we have SA equals pi r squared plus pi r height. Given the radius is 3 cm, the height is 9 cm, surface area is question mark. Solution, so copy formula, is A equals pi times R squared plus pi times R times height. In equals, the value of pi is 3.14 times 3 na radius, then times 3 the hell squared, then plus 3.14 of value of pi times radius na 3, then times height na 9. Then equals 3.14 times 3 times 3 is 9, then plus copy 3.14, 3 times 9 equals 27. Then equals 3.14 times 9 is 28.26 plus 3.14 times 27 is 84.78. Then equals 28.26 plus 84.78 is 113.04. Then copy the unit. CM, then put the squared, or write the squared. So the surface area of the cone is 113.04 cm squared. So ganun po ang pagkuha ng surface area. Sana po ay inyong naintindihan. Sa ngayon, hanggang dito na lang muna tayo. Kung meron po kayong katanungan sa topic na ito, 
Pakicomment na lang po sa comment section at tiyak ng ating pag-aaralan. And if you like this video, please pakilike and pakishare. Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe ng channel, sana po ay mag-subscribe ka. Pakihit na rin po yung notification bell at piliin yung bell all para mag-notify sa'yo muna kung mga bagong upload. Maraming salamat po sa iyong panunood at pakikinig. Have a nice day and God bless.